everybody, this is B3Net Games, and this is my tutorial on how to customize destructible meshes. Let's get started. So, this mesh on the right is the one I used in how to make projectiles destroy destructible meshes. Let me show you the effect. Okay, so, you know, kind of cheesy, but still pretty cool. Let's go to this one. See how it's just. Whoa, bro. No, that's a high power bullet. But, you can see how every hit, it damages it little by little, instead of. This is gonna damage it little by little, the chunks are gonna fall off more realistically. So, let me show you how I set it up. Okay, so, let's get centered over here real quick. Alright, so first of all, we'll go to the first person projectile blueprint because there were some things that I needed to tweak. So you go to blueprints, go to first person projectile, right click on first person projectile and click on edit. Go to collision component. We're going to make sure that simulate, simulate physics is checked, start wake is checked. Simulation generates hit events checked and to generate overlap events. That's important. And collision presets can be physics actor. And the rest of it should be fine. Now we go to sphere and we're going to. This so is where I made some changes. Um, simulate physics is going to be checked. Start awake is going to be checked. Enable gravity checked. Now we'll go down to collision and simulation generate hits hit events checked. Generate overlap events checked. Collision preset preset is projectile. Now since it's the overlap events are enabled, that's what made it more realistic because in the other one it was kinda going around the mesh, which was kinda sporadic. Now, now that you have that set up, let's go back and right click, actually go to meshes first, and then you'll want to use first person cube rounded, and you will create destructible mesh. And after that destructible mesh is created, you're going to gonna get a first person Keep routed underscore DM. And then you'll drag it into the scene. And voila. Now, I'll delete that one because I already have it made. Right click on first person cube rounded DM and go to edit now this is the settings I have for the new mesh I have the damage to hold to 1200 damage spread to zero enable impact damage checked impact damage is a point zero seven eight eight six two default impact damage depth is one Okay. Uh, debris. I left all the defaults for debris. Oh, this is default. Actually, okay. Support depth has to be one. I believe that was set to zero by default. Okay. That's under hierarchy depth. Support depth one. And then you go to Fracture Settings under Veroni. I think that's how you say it. You go to you go to you create the cell up the cell site count to 250. Because this is gonna make the cell site count. The more you have, the more the more it fractures. So 
manufacturing the mesh, you can see, and then if I increase it by, I don't know, I'll just go with 350 or some crap. See, I mean, based on however you want to set it up, the more the cell, cell site count is, the probably the more realistic it's going to be. But then you want to save it if you got all the settings. Okay, now let's go back. I'll just play it again just to, to show you. Let's hit the aim up at the corner. I mean, there's a few little bugs here and there still. But, you know, this is pretty much a prototype. I mean, that's pretty fun just by itself. And there you have it. That's my tutorial on customized destructible meshes. Um, if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to comment or send me a message, and I'll do my best to help you. Have a good day, everybody.